right, I'm going to make a really quick video on how to use annotate.net. Um, it's one of my favorite tools, and it's kind of an underrated tool. Not a lot of people seem to use it. They seem to use tons of other mobile whiteboard tools. Um, but when I was looking for ways that I could write on a tablet and then project onto uh, either a smart board or onto a computer, this um, came up to be my favorite tool. Um, now there's tons of other options, so don't tell, let me tell you that this is like the best option. Uh, but my favorite thing about annotate.net is that they give teachers free access to the majority of tools that they would need. Um, so I feel like lots of other sites have options, uh, but they're looking to capitalize on them. And honestly, I pay money for my lesson planning software, and I pay money, pay money for um, supplies and curriculums and all sorts of other things that um, just paying money for one more thing just feels like it's just going to end up piling. And so if you sign up with a teacher account, so with an email address from your school, you actually get more features on annotate.net than you would with just a regular um, account. So uh, again, this is a tool I use to project something that I'm writing on a tablet onto either a smart board or a projector or um, onto a computer that I can then use to capture. Um, so as a math teacher, I feel like I absolutely have to be writing out these problems to show my work. It's not something that I could just put on a PowerPoint because it's just not really possible for me to um, do step-by-step -step work without uh, writing it down and, and doing that. So um, that's how I like it. So the first things first is if you're going to try annotate.net, um, you're going to have to sign up, do free sign up. Um, you can see their pricing. Um, there's non-educational and educational, so go to the educational if you're a teacher, and you can see uh, with the starter stuff basically what you can do. Um, I have not really had any limitations on this that have really been a problem. Um, you know, all of these things, none of these have been an issue that um, I've wished that I had. Um, but look at this. Isn't this awesome? They even cut their price in half. Um, for teachers and it's just great because they give teachers a lot more than they give other people so um, I you're gonna sign up and then you're gonna go to annotate.net um, on the mobile device that you're planning on writing on so whether it's a tablet or a surface pro or a flippable uh, laptop is flippable a word yeah I think so so it's gonna be um, any of those things that you're planning on writing on um, and you're going to open up www.annotate.net, okay? So you open it up here, you sign in, um, and it's going to give you, let's just go ahead and go there. Um, it's going to bring you up to your uh, original, like your opening screen with all of your content. Um, so I have a content library here. I teach these classes here. So I've um, made folders for each of those classes so that I can uh, keep them straight. Um, if you have, say what I do is I actually make notes in Word uh, because it has the best equation editing software that I've found that is free. Um, and so I use Word, I make all of my notes, and then I import them into Annotate. So I come here to the plus sign, and I import content. So if you had a PowerPoint, if you had um, a Word document, anything like that, a PDF, I just go ahead and drag my or open my file there, and then it brings up um, a file. So once you've imported your content into it, um, and again, you can only you can import just. Um, certain pages on one too, which is pretty great. So if you have like a huge thing, but you only import a couple, I'm going to show you calculus. It's probably the one I use the most. Um, I use annotate for all of them. I've sort of flipped my calculus classroom um, where they watch videos at home and we work in class. Um, so I've opened up, so I import my unit eight presentation here and um, then I can come to it. Um, and this again is all, um, Let's see. Okay, that's not true. This would not be on your mobile device unless your files are on your mobile device. If your files aren't on your mobile device, you're going to do all of this on a laptop. You're going to do this, 
and then you're going to open up annotate on your mobile device okay so if you've already um imported your content you're going to open up on a mobile device otherwise you're going to open up on a laptop you're going to do all of this import all of this get everything in here um and uh then i'll show you this notebook okay so skip ahead you've already imported all of your content it's in annotate now you're going to want to actually project it onto your screen so I open this on my on my um, tablet. I open up my presentation. I'm to this screen right here, and I go to uh, this button right here that looks like a pro projector, and I choose present. Now it's going to say, "Do you want to present on a projector or a whiteboard? Do you want to present on open enrollment, or do you want to pro project on just this device?" I'll show you. If I do just this device, it's just going to do something like this. Um, and this would be if uh, I was opening it just on like a laptop or maybe a, you know, something that I was just showing. Um, I don't know. I've used this a couple times when I'm screen mirroring in a different way. But so you present, this is what it's going to look like up to, uh, you know, on your computer. I don't use that one very often. The one I use the most is present to a projector. Now that's not saying it's available because I don't have another computer connected right now. Course open enrollment is one where kids actually have to like sign up, make count, make accounts, and then you can publish videos directly to them. Um, I haven't used that feature just because you can only use up to 10 kids. They have to make their own account and it's so much easier just to not. Um, to like make a YouTube video that's accessible to everybody. Okay, so you you get to this part on your mobile device, and now you're gonna have to figure out how to get this onto your computer. So you go to your computer, and um, you need to download the download the Annotate Mirror client. So let me show you how to do that. So imagine you've got your, you know, um, tablet already ready. Everything's good. Um, then you go to www.annotate.net. Okay, and we're going to download the mirror client for your laptop. So, um, downloads, there it is. You go to downloads, um, and then you want to download the mirror client. So, this is basically how your laptop or your computer and your iPad talk to each other. So if you don't have the mirror client um, downloaded, they can't talk to each other. Um, but this actually can send whatever's on your iPad or tablet onto your um, desktop. So if you have Windows, you click this one, you know, you download that one for Apple. You download all of that, do the whole download thing, and you're going to get this box on your um, main screen. So it says mirror client. Um, and so you're going to open up the annotate mirror client on your um, computer. So this is whatever, say, so I have a desktop that's connected to my, um, I have a desktop connected to my smart board. So that's where I open this in the mornings. Every morning I open this up um, on my laptop whenever I'm making videos. And you can see I'm making a video right now. Uh, by screen capturing with Screencast-O-Matic. Um, so when I make videos, I open up the Annotate Mirror Client on my computer, and this allows me to uh, mirror whatever is going on with my, um, on my tablet onto my uh, laptop. So here I have the Mirror Client open on there, and it'll say Awaiting Connection. Um, now, I don't have my iPad with me because um, I just got back from vacation and um, I'm, I'm not going into my school right now. So um, once those two are talking to each other, once those two are talking to each other, you'll see connected with web app right here. And you'll come up to here and when you go into annotate, let's I'll log in one more time. When you go into annotate and you try to present something, it'll show that you're connected. Now, I don't know. I've honestly never tried. Oh, look, mirror client connected. It actually allowed me to just connect to myself, which is really interesting because I've never done this before. Um, so again, on your mobile device, you're going to open up your presentation. You're going to click here and you're going to um, present this. 
and now it says projector or whiteboard so you're going to project this onto uh, some other computer when you click start on your mobile device you'll see this screen and then on your um, computer you'll see this screen okay so this is now being controlled by my quote mobile device uh, and you know on your mobile device you can zoom in zoom out you can write directly on it um, and it will capture every single thing on your computer so this is just such a great way because I can now project all of my uh, questions onto here and I can just write as you can see I've actually written on this one um, when you're this is what you're going to see on your lap on your um, not your laptop on your tablet and you can just move forward um, you can uh, zoom in obviously usually it's like on a tablet so I just like zoom in with my two fingers um, you can tell I'm left-handed because you can see that my writing is hmm, not the best but um, so I just I write right on it and it projects straight to my laptop and then as it's projecting to my laptop I'm using Screencast-O-Matic uh, which is what I'm using right now to capture this this video and in the end I end up with this video of me writing kind of Khan Academy style uh, usually with Screencast-O-Matic I have my face in the corner because I feel like kids engage with me better when I have my face in the corner but um, didn't do it today because got no makeup on and got a little sunburn from the vacation so um, yeah with sunglass lines and everything it's pretty great I'll show you sometime uh, but anyway that is how you use annotate.net it's a great tool I think it's really underrated like I said not a lot of people really use it or know about it uh, but I just think it's fantastic uh, it's just got so many tools here's you know you've got the pen tool so um, I don't think it's gonna let me use the pen tool because I'm not on my uh, tablet uh, it's got a little marker tool, pen tool, erasers, um, even a little like laser highlighter. Oh, there it goes. There's the pen tool working. So you got a little laser highlighter. Um, it's again, not wanting to work because I'm kind of running both right now, which is kind of silly. Um, but yeah, so I got this little laser highlighter. I can tell people like, okay, look at this integral right here. And do you see some use substitution we can do? And, um, I like to throw in a little calculus vocabulary just to pretend like I'm smart. Um, but anyway, it's got all these cool things uh, that you can use, and I really, really think that this is a great tool if you're needing to write on a whiteboard and record it or project it.